Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. There's incredible pressure on Starfield this fall on Wednesday. Starfield finally gave us a release date. Well, a new release date and one that comes almost a year after what they confidently predicted. We went from November 22nd, 2022 to the promise that the game would be in the first half of 2023 to the new date outside of that window of September 6, 2023. I expect that to finally be met. Why the delay? I think there is a strong desire for AAA mega games to avoid Cyberpunk 2077 syndrome, a game that was actually pretty good at its core, but desperately needed another year in the oven to avoid a technically disastrous launch, and since sprawling because the games are NT exactly known for it, are able to launch flawlessly. It seems like Bethesda really wants to nail that. It might have been Halo Infinite before, but that has come and gone, and has SI developed into my own kind of cautionary tale of studio mismanagement, and live service shattered dreams. But of all the high-profile announced releases from Xbox in the future, Fable Perfect Dark avowed it as easy to see how Starfield has the biggest push everyone has been waiting for for literally years to launch this supposed new era of Xbox first party to see strength that just never came. We've seen surprise hits here and there, but nothing on the huge blockbuster scale that Sony is known for. It seems like Starfield should be something of a safe bet for Xbox here. Bethesda really doesn't put out big mainline series games that don't go on to become big hits. Whether we re talking about Fallout or Elder Scrolls, when the game is bad, when the launch is a technical mess, this not only hurts Bethesda, but even more so Xbox, which in turn hasn't been able to really get this narrative going that all of these acquisitions have resulted in a dramatic increase in the quality of their first-party offerings. If anything, Halo Infinite shows how poorly Microsoft seems to be managing its immensely important studios, in contrast to Sony, which lets its experienced developers 